Can anyone explain this? Well, you better wake up and find out. Has been around you all of your life. You just didn't see it. <clears throat> a classic example, a humorous one to start with, a more serious later. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this. It's been around for a while. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John Kennedy was elected to Congress 1946. Abe Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John Kennedy was elected president 1960. The names Lincoln and Kennedy both contain seven letters. Both presidents were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both of the president's wives lost children while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot on a Friday in the head. President Lincoln's secretary was named Miss Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Miss Lincoln. Both, as, both were assassinated by Southerners. Both were succeeded by Southerners. <clears throat> Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, who assassinated Kennedy, 1939. Both assassins were known by three names, John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald. Both names are comprised of 15 letters. President Lincoln was shot in a theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car named Lincoln, <laughs> made by Ford. John Wilkes Booth ran to a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. Booth and Oswald were both assassinated before they could go to trial. And a week before Lincoln was shot, he was in Moreau, Maryland. A week before Kennedy was shot, he was with Marilyn Monroe.